feeding the caro can with white. Uh, we are using the advanced variation, and in this game, I got totally crushed by Marcus Raka in the Bundesliga. And we're going to use this as our uh, starting point for how White should play against 3C5. So let's get into it. If you have not seen part one, uh, where we deal with Bishop F5, uh, I recommend you find it in the video series under maybe the playlist Caracan. Um, by the way, remember that the members get special treatment and you can get to choose uh, subjects. So if you uh, would like to be a paying member, you get a lot of benefits. It's worth it, I hope. Um, let's get into it. Uh, e4, c6, d4, d5, e5. And we remember that in the last part we looked at uh, this crazy variation and it was not so funny for black as it turned out. Uh, you can go and look at that. But this one is, is uh, I thought was, was a good choice. I played this before and uh, I was of course a little bit annoyed when Raka played d5, 4 because he had played, uh, he has been playing knight f3 and knight c3. He's been playing uh, uh, this line recently, and I was okay prepared for that, and I liked the position that we would get in that line for black, uh, leading to some strategic play where uh, computer analysis is not that important. Because uh, Marcus Raga is uh, very well prepared. Uh, he's, he's the kind of guy who uh, spends all his days uh, with, uh, with their engine... Uh, with the cloud engines analyzing openings and sometimes he wins games without a fight like I would say almost this one. Okay, c5, d takes, I think that's the best move. Some players uh, play knight f3 here um, uh, and, and black takes or play bishop d4, but I think this move makes sense. Uh, and after this, white has basically got an advanced uh, French with uh, one complete tempo up. And... Uh, and and Raga here played knight f3. I think uh, I think the, some sometimes uh, black plays something, uh, white plays something like uh, like this, and that's what, what I was hoping for. And here this uh, sacrifice is probably pretty good for black, or at least not bad. Uh, you just give up two pawns, but you gotta get all your pieces out like uh, really fast and get uh, good attacking chances and uh, and a grip on the position. Uh, so I was hoping for that, and that was more or less my preparation. The knight f3, I was like, oh, I don't remember, and. Um, and I think that's the smart move. That's what we're going to do with white. Uh, and, and this, of course, is, is a natural move. A3 is, is also uh, a good move for, uh, for white, I think. Uh, taking away the square and getting ready to push the bishop with B4. And here I played 97. By the way, I think now that this, uh, this position, I think maybe black should play this move. Um, this is, uh, is, it looks really weird, um, but the idea is, is on this move, instead of going this way, you go this way and you attack with a5. I think it's, it's maybe black's best bet in this uh, situation, something like, like this, uh, and this move, and, and maybe black is fine, uh, maybe he's worse, I don't know, I think I would prefer to be white here. But it's 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 unclear. It's it's definitely playable for black. So I think if black has to uh, sort of redeem this variation, he has to play knight uh, to d7. Um, knight e7 is the main line. Uh, okay, you can also play knight c6, but it will lead to the same thing. If you put a knight on c6, you're gonna put your bishop on b6. So, um, but I also kind of like to have uh, this uh, this bishop on this diagonal, and I was hoping to to attack here and so on. And here comes an important moment. So please pay attention. Please pay attention. Uh, White often uh, play a, a, a bishop here, uh, but that's premature. He should wait with that move. So listen, wait with that move. Play all the other moves first, and then play the bishop d3. Uh, so uh, and and we're gonna see the reason in the game. Uh, that is that's pretty clear. Now here. And ID6 is probably wrong. Uh, I think main move is is here. Um, he will play bishop b2, and and by the way, you can play something like this. And on this move, white will always go a4. And after something like this, this I think this was played by uh, black drag dragov, and uh, and here white is, uh, and I think they played something like this. Uh, uh, oops, not no, no, not this move because then e5 hangs. No, you just take. 
uh, new origin, uh, take, uh, take, take, and putting a lot of that's very unpleasant and something like this. And I think this was some Jackson Dragnet or something. And uh, and here black is just totally busted uh, on the black squares. Uh, you're just gonna play only on the black squares, and it's not even gonna be difficult. By the way, this bishop cannot uh, <laughs> cannot sit on this uh, diagonal without uh, being kicked. It out uh, like like this, so uh, so no problem. White is gonna gonna get to uh, when he's ready to uh, to 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 cast greenside. He's gonna cast greenside. This bishop will be uh, a big problem. This one is is the alpha zero pawn. That's also a big problem. And black has no condo play. So this situation is just uh, disastrous. So please notice this. And uh, on ninety six, always h four. We we see it here. I played a five. I was hoping for uh, for something like b five, uh, knight d seven. Um, in this situation, black can also play a five. That makes sense. Um, I think white will uh, will go bishop b two. I think there was a game something like this, uh, and 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 take take and castle or something. And I think white is better in these situations. Uh, so. I played this move. This is a bad move, um, but look natural, and uh, and we're gonna see why it's it's smart not to move this bishop yet. H4 and black is already in deep trouble uh, because this one is coming, and we don't have enough pressure on this one at all. This this one is not seri a serious threat. H5 uh, was well. It's probably bad, but knight d6 was bad. So it's, it's when you started to make a mistake, it's easy to continue. And here you just play b5. And uh, getting the knight out and uh, knight d, bishop d3, threatening to really uh, destroy the pawn structure. Knight here and, and here, very simple. d3, very annoying, uh, kicking the knight. And you can't go back, so you have to take uh, the bishop here. But this position is is the sort of French nightmare, and I don't really like the French. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, and and here I made another uh, probably mistake. I should probably a4 here, uh, hoping to get some sort of counter play at some point. Um, I don't know. Uh, he will have this access. He will have a lot of. It will not be fun, and it will not be easy getting this into the game. I played knight c5, and uh, hitting hitting the the pawn uh, on d3. Just played queen c2. Bishop d7 was a mistake, according to uh, to Raga. Uh, I should play a4 and and trying to sacrifice a pawn somewhere, probably with this move, and just saying okay. Um, if I'm lucky, I get some compensation. Uh, probably I won't, uh, but but this is what will have to be done. I play this move, and after this move, I, I realize, oh man! Uh, after after this move, you just go here, and now, <laughs> now this is this is coming, and it's gonna hurt. Uh, it's gonna hurt a lot, uh, and and it's it's kind of it's kind of terrible to sit in a position like that in a team match. Uh, well, you can say luckily, I don't know if that's luckily, but we lost 7-1 against uh, Soling, and so uh, it was not my fault. <laughs> Everybody lost, more or less, but of course it's not funny to, to play this. And this this game, actually, I thought I played so bad that I decided that I was not going to play uh, in the Olympiad for, for, for Denmark. I'm just going to be team captain uh, because... This was simply simply not good enough, um, but uh, that's that's how it goes here. I don't, I don't know what to do. Uh, I decide okay, uh, I can't castle. If I castle, then um, um, then he's gonna go d4, and uh, and and the knight is trapped. So and and something like this um, is, is this is coming, and and I don't have any compensation because this bishop is just dead meat. Uh, and and this one is not doing much either. And uh, well, I'm gonna get totally killed on the king side. So hmm, yeah, uh, I didn't know what to do here. Um, and he's 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 seriously threatening d4. So 
So I already, I, I, <laughs> I could more or less uh, already resign. It was, uh, it was, it was a bit sad. Uh, I decided, okay, I'm gonna try and get some, and gonna take that pretty quickly. Um, so at least uh, keeping his his king in the center, getting the bishop pair, moving back, but it's kind of easy to play this for white, and here he just played king d1. Say okay. The thing is, this rook. I was hoping it would do something, and but basically he's really, really solid. And this this pawn coming here is not really likely. Um, at least getting out of uh, of this this mess on on the B file, and and hoping to to push maybe something like this. And he's just gonna stop this. And, Okay, maybe, and then okay, yeah, I could, I could actually resign here. Um, it looked a little bit like I was having some compensation, but I'm not. They're not moving anywhere, and uh, this one is was really good. Um, so something like this, and here uh, taking control over B4. Trying to to get the rook into I'm I'm basically hoping to play this move. Now they did again this stuff. Um, to play this move and and get something. It's not likely, but just play this move. That's really 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 annoying. I was trying to get my rook back into the game, and yeah. Sad, sad story here. And I resigned. After, for instance, something like this, uh, it's just, ah, it's curtains. Uh, this rook is really good. It controls everything. I can't get this rook into anything. This, this one is also controlling stuff. Nothing to do here, but resign and go home and be disgusted with yourself. Uh, this happens a lot. So let's recap. You take on this, you play the knight out, you play a3. So no, uh, don't Go in for any nonsense. By the way, White Black could have probably played this move. Uh, it looked really stupid. Uh, I didn't. I was always. I'm always afraid of something like that. <laughs> to be honest, I just say okay, uh, because uh, here the 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 bishop is trapped. Uh, so, but but that's not what they are doing. Uh, after this, they they play Queen D2, and after this, the Black has been doing okay. Uh, so I don't know. But um, anyway, this is main line. They could also also be with uh, and and here there's this very important point this very important point don't move the bishop move the knight and basically black is uh, white is ready to take over uh, with with these moves uh, ready to defend the pawn uh, keeping the bishop here is is smart because it's it's usually go to d3 but you wait until your your queen side is fully protected so this is the key for white. Just uh, don't play bishop d3 too soon. Put the knight on c2. Be ready for c4 and um, and see what happens. And black just have a bad French. I don't like this bishop here. And uh, I'm, I'm not sure I will play this line for black again. I guess I have to, to learn the bishop f5 line uh, in the Karakan if we're going to keep on playing the Karakan here on GM Talks. And I think we are. So uh, wait for that. And uh, this was GM Talks. Thank you for watching.